Hello and welcome to episode 20 of Ascension. I decided for this episode I still want to use version 1 of the pack because there's still a few things I want to wrap up before I update the pack. And I know in the last episode I was kind of a bit uh, scatterbrained for the end of it. So uh, yeah, I'd like to uh, kind of continue on from there. Pretty much I just got a bit tongue-tied and wasn't sure how to word stuffs and yeah. Well anyway, one thing I did want to do in the last episode that I think I didn't mention somewhere in there. I don't know, it's kind of awkward because I was trying to do stuff and talk about stuff but I kind of fumbled what I was saying, but then I was hard to edit it out because I was doing stuff I need to show. So yeah, well, one thing I did want to do was get a pet cat. So let's see if I can do that real quick. And uh, ooh, both my entry movers have a golem in them. That won't end well. Uh, I don't have any more emeralds either. Hmm. Oh, I could make some more emeralds with the emerald shards. So uh, yeah, I think I'll make an entity mover real quick just so I can easily bring the cat back. And yeah, one second. Okay, so I decided to come to the far, far away jungle to try and find a cat and tame it so we can get a pet cat. And then I'll work on getting the pet wolf and then we'll have all the pets. Yay. Good news, I found an ocelot. Bad news, they're notoriously hard to tame. Oh no, 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 no. No, no. <laughs> that almost ended poorly. Okay, don't walk towards the harpies, cat. Come on, I have fish. You like fish. That was a little easier than I expected. Let's see if this works. Yeah, I think that works. Okay, I'll take this cat back to the base and turn... Oh, another cat. Hey. Oh no! Cockatrice, run! Okay, so I'm back in the base of my little bedroom here, and let's hope the cat is still... Yes, it's still tamed. I put up a little barricade in case it wasn't, and... I forget which one it is. There we go. Now it's a useful cat. And actually, can I change the color now? Yes, I can! Woohoo, I can make it any color cat I want. I think I'll just leave it as that for now. Okay, so cats have a few different natural abilities than pigs. Uh, let's see, apparently they're immune to fall damage, and they can scare away creepers. So what I was thinking to do for this pet is that I want to make it repel stuff and carry items. Kind of just be like, it follows its around, scares away the mobs, and helps us hold stuff for like a mining pet. The pig, on the other hand, will be uh, transport. There we go. So yeah, the pig will be transport, the cat will scare stuff away and hold items. And that leaves the wolf to be our real combat one. So, now we need to get a wolf. I think I did mention this a few episodes back, but I did test it off camera, and the aid spell, I think that's aid, does allow us to tame the wolf it summons. And uh, I was actually looking around trying to get levels off camera since the last episode, and I found a bunch of levels. I'm really not sure how it happened, but pretty much I had like 30 in here, but when I went to the zombie spawner, I suddenly jumped up to 58, and I think that's because the ender experience chest there was kind of like out of sync with the others. I think I might have uh, broke both of the ones here, so all the experience defaulted back to that one, but I didn't load the chunks with an update or something. I don't know, either way I went there and a whole bunch more experience appeared, and I'm not going to complain because it saved me a lot of time out of grinder. So, yeah, let me just get the level so we can unlock that spell. Okay, so this will cost us 50 levels to unlock and allow us to summon a wolf. And if I uh, scroll down here, I can pick aid, right one. Yeah, and... Ta-da, now we can summon a wolf. And we still have 40 levels spared, which is a lot more than I expected, actually. Okay, time to summon the wolf. And I don't think I need to tame it, or do I? I can't remember. Come back here. Yep, I didn't need to tame it. It was already tamed to me. So, now we have a useful wolf. If I right-click, we can change it between its different textures. Wolf, angry, and tamed. And this one is already set to be a combatant, and also can already eat rotten flush, so... Yeah, that's kind of an advantage there. So I want to make this one all out attack and have the hostile trait and all the armor traits. And I really kind of wish I did go for the swimming for the pig and did a little less in the combat, but oh well. Maybe I'll redo that somehow. Okay, so I finally got all three pets, and uh, yeah, I'll need to work on leveling up the cat and wolf off camera, but just as a quick recap, I'd like the cat to be kind of a beast of burden, you know, carry items and scare away mobs to kind of travel with us, while the wolf will be kind of an all-out attacker and the pig will kind of be just our general traveling companion for, you know, like riding around and 
battling and such. So yeah. Anyway, now that I got the pets, uh, I'm not really sure what else I really want to do to wrap up the version one. That was the main thing I wanted to do since I wanted to do that in episode 19, but didn't have the time. So uh, how about we uh, go take a look at spawn real quick. So, uh, yeah, here we are at spawn, which is pretty much the same as I left it, or at least I hope it is. I don't remember doing much here or anything here, really. Uh, let's see. Doesn't look like any meteors crashed. Actually, yeah, that does look like one might have crashed there. Well, that's not really that close to spawn, though, so woohoo, it's working, at least. Uh, the meteor shield, that is. So, yeah, I do want to work on this probably between this episode and the next and actually, that's one thing I'd like to talk about. So since uh, episode 20 here isn't in version 2 of the pack, I decided that episode 21 will be. However, episode 21 might not be next Monday, and it may instead be the following Monday. It depends on uh, how quickly I can get everything ready. But my goal is to try and get it done for next Monday, but if I am falling behind on the configs, I might just take next Monday off and wait for the following one. Either way, it will be on episode 21, so the next time you see this series, it will have the revised mod pack with all the other cool stuff and the updated mods and the new mods and yeah, all that other cool stuff I've been working very hard at. As for the public download, like I said in the previous episode, I'm not sure when exactly I'll have that up. I'm not sure how exactly I'm gonna do it at the moment either. I'm considering trying to get it on a launcher maybe, but there's still a couple permissions that I'm waiting for uh, approval on for a public pack, so we'll have to see how that goes. I was considering actually building some more spawn now, but I think that's probably best done off camera. I'm not really sure how I want to build it, but I do want to like build it more around this uh, general mountain area and deal with more of the lower parts of it, like here and uh, the squid cavern thing I was working on. I don't know. I would like to try and make this a better squid grinder, if you could call it that. And I still never lit up this area, but you know, there's these tunnels down here. This is where the silverfish attacked me. I'm not sure if I ever mentioned that on camera, but I think I put a picture on Twitter of all the silverfish attacking me. So yeah, I would like to still work on this a bit more, but I'll wait to do that off camera. Anyway, some things I am kind of holding off on for uh, the version two of the pack, episode 21 and onwards. Uh, one thing I would like to do like immediately, besides just generally showing off what's changed with the pack, uh, those battle tower golems, I still have them in the entity movers. But I would like to fight them, but I'm not sure where exactly, because I do have to double check on how that works, like what battle tower they end up destroying. You know, don't want to put it like, fight maybe one like around here and then it blows up the wrong tower that I want to keep or something, that would be bad. But anyway, I would like to uh, fight them after an update so I can benefit from any new additions I add to them. I don't want to spoil too much, but I am planning to add some new stuff to bosses. And speaking of bosses, I would like to rematch all the legendary beasts in the version 2 of the pack because I'll be buffing them and giving them more loot and stuff like that, so they should be a bit more epic. I also am going to be uh, buffing and adjusting the Bosscraft 2 bosses, so I would like to rematch the rogue. And I also would like to uh, fight the other four of them after, or when it updates I should say. So that's kind of why I haven't been doing that now. I'm trying to farm all the orbs so I'll have all five ready so I can just fight like them. Probably not on the same episode, but still have them all ready to fight kind of in a row. Anyway, besides the bosses, I would like to probably spend at least an episode revisiting the nether because that's going to reset as I mentioned before, but all the structures should stay in the same place. So I'll probably go explore a bit, then do some off camera, like reset the bridge between the uh, you know, the portal and the uh, fortress, raid that structure on camera, and then probably do another episode if I find anything else interesting. And the other thing I really want to do is visit the Erebus. Erebus? I'm not sure how it's pronounced still. But uh, I was wanting to do that before episode 20, but I decided to hold off due to the pack being updated and the Erebus being updated too. They did add a lot of new cool stuff that I saw when I was uh, updating it or testing the update, I should say. So hopefully that'll be fun. And uh, yeah, I would like to dedicate a few episodes, like go into the Erebus and not come out till I'm done, or at least set up kind of like a foothold or something. So that will hopefully be fun and I can't wait to try that out. Well, since I was about to start starving, I decided to come back to my base here instead of staying at spawn. And uh, I'm not sure if I mentioned this before, but I have french fries, which are just potatoes chopped up. I think they give a bit more than just the potato and you just have to craft them, so it's pretty easy. They also do make uh, fish and chips, which I think is the best food in the game or has a huge amount of healing and saturation. So I might want to look into making them because we do have uh, some fish spare, I believe. 
Also, I'm not sure if I directly mentioned before, but I do have the auto fisher mod on here. So I can kind of just AFK and fish. That's kind of how I got that. Also, speaking about food stuffs, uh, I do need to make more food for one. And the other thing, I do want to remake those potions. Uh, so yeah, I'll have to look into doing some more of that off camera. I actually think I might take a bit more time off camera between this episode and the next. Just to not only update the mod pack, because there are some uh, ID changes, some things up to fix. You know, some items were removed and some were added to replace them and all that kind of stuff to make sure the world transitions over well. I have been trying to avoid removing or adding anything that will cause any major world conflicts. Like not adding any new uh, ore world gen kind of stuff. So hopefully this will all go smoothly. But one thing I would like to do is uh, maybe rework some of the base. Like I might try and update the Hall of Ascension a bit between it. So I have like, if I add any new mods to add new goals, I might update that. Maybe rework the design a bit. I also have been thinking of reworking the teleporter room, but I'm not sure if I mentioned that. But uh, there was a bit of an issue. Oh, I didn't close it. A bit of an issue with pets jumping on there. So I thought maybe doing some piston thing where this block comes out. So I have to like open the teleporter to get on it. I'm not sure. It might be a bit complicated though because there is a cliff like right on the other side of this wall. So it might be hard to set up any pistons or such. You know, it's like right through there is the teleporter room. And I tried my best to cover it up. But as you go down, you'll get closer to it still. So yeah, and I definitely do want to improve... Uh, connectivity between the upper and lower floors here. I'm not sure how exactly I want to do that though, but that's another thing I want to work on. Also, I can't remember if I asked this earlier, but I need name suggestions for the pets because as you saw from the tools, I'm not the best of naming items. And yeah, I do have a couple name tags. I think they should still work on useful pets. And yeah, I also would like a name for the sheep up there and some other pets in the future, perhaps. I don't know. Anyway, if you do have any suggestions for a cool name, you think I should name a pet, either current or future, let me know and I might consider it for when I do name them. Or try to name them. We'll see. Also, I know I mentioned this before, but I do want to redo this farm area. Probably maybe expand that way or something like that anyway. To make them a bit more automated with some kind of dispensing or piston water flow at least. Or, you know, piston sugar cane. I don't know. Well, I'll look into it. But, yeah, that's another thing I would like to work on soon enough. Or eventually. I don't know. We'll see how much time I have bet after updating the pack for uh, off-camera stuff. But, yeah. Anyway, I think that's really all I had to talk about and show this episode. I mainly just want to do the pet stuff and mention a bit about the version 2 update because I felt like I didn't do a very good job uh, with episode 19, how I ended it anyway, because I just got pretty uh, tongue-tied there. Anyway, uh, sorry I didn't have more to do this episode besides the pet stuff and some talky stuff, but hopefully you enjoyed it either way, and in a week or two, I'll be returning with Ascension version 2, so hopefully you're looking forward to that, and until next time, goodbye.